hallo meine lieben Zuschauer und herzlich willkommen zu einer neuen Folge zu Fire Emblem Engage. Wenn euch das Video gefällt, dann lasst ein Abo und ein Like da und ich wünsche euch jetzt viel Spaß mit dem Video. Ja, moin Leute, ne, und herzlich willkommen zurück zu einer weiteren Folge von Fire Emblem Engage. Ja, äh, ihr fragt euch jetzt sicher, warum äh, gammel ich jetzt äh, hier im Zimmer äh, von meinem Hauptcharakter, anstatt irgendwie auf der Hauptkarte. Ganz einfach, ich habe oft kein Bandgespräche gesammelt ohne Ende. Und dabei habe ich die ein oder andere Freundschaft schon mal auf äh, Maximum gepusht. Ich habe mir oft überlegt, wen ich dem Packring geben will. Und habe mich dabei für Bail entschieden. Aus dem schlichten und einfachen Grund, die beiden sind Geschwister und ich finde, das sollte ich einfach unterstützen. Das Geschwister-Zeug. Äh, äh, So, muss ich den Ring jetzt zu der Person bringen? Wenn ja, dann porte ich mich einmal zu Vale. Ja, ich habe Vale gefunden. So. Falls eine Sequenz kommt, packe ich mich mal eben kurz aus dem Bild. There you are. I have something I want to give you. Oh? It's for you. I hope you love it. What a beautiful stone. It's so clear and blue. You went looking for it just for me. I did. I wanted to give you something in return for the Dragonstone you gave me so long ago. I've poured all my energy into it. So, if we get separated again, we can find each other. <laughs> we really are siblings, it seems. What do you mean? Vale, I also have something I'd like to give you. This is... the Pact Ring. Yes. It's for you, Vale. You're my dear sister and the person most precious to me. But... I can't imagine giving this ring to anyone else. I can't accept this. This is very special to you, Divine One. I'm the one who took Lumera's life. I don't deserve it. That's not true. You do deserve it, and I want you to have it. Besides... I know Mother would want this. She would want both of us to be happy, no matter what. Huh, I understand. I will take it then. You gave me the Dragon Stone and I made it my talisman. This ring? It will be my new one. <sighs> That makes me happy. I know how much the Dragon Stone meant to you. I hoped this could replace it. No, not so much replace it. More like symbolize something new. Our bond as siblings. Of course, I had no idea you'd go and give me a pretty stone before I could give you this ring. I'm glad I did. I like that we think so similarly. You gave me the stone so that we'd always be able to find each other. But I'm not going anywhere, Vale. You and I are family, and we're sticking together. The ring and the stone. They can remind us that we never have to be apart again. Okay. Let's win this war and bring peace to the world. For Lumera. She would like that. Yes, she would. And we can do it together. I swear on this ring. I'll stand by your side and be a dragon who's ready to save the world. Deuce. Segen von Elios verleiht einen Bonus auf Crit und Crit aus welchem mal 2. Die Anzahl der Verbindenden, die in dieser Runde bereits eine Aktion ausgeführt haben, werden den, einer den Kampf initiiert. Ist okay. Das heißt, wenn ich mit denen als letztes angreife, dann haben die übelste Crit-Chance. Okay, das war süß. Warte mal, da stand irgendwas Neues jetzt bei den Verbündeten. Es wirkte aber wirklich wie ein Heiratsantrag irgendwie. 
Also, da wäre ich schon gespannt irgendwie, wie das bei anderen ausgesehen hätte. Na gut, dann porte ich mich jetzt mal zur Karte, ne? So, Leute, ich habe jetzt mal auf den zweiten Spielstand abgespeichert. Ich kann mir äh, noch ein paar von diesen äh, Packtring-Gesprächen angucken, falls ich noch welche habe. Beziehungsweise aufnehmen. Die schmeiße ich dann hinten an die Bandgespräche, die ihr jetzt sehen könnt. Also über mir ist jetzt ein Zeitstempel. Da könnt ihr hinspringen, um die Gespräche zu überspringen. Und wir sehen uns dann gleich im Kapitel 23 auf den Lavafeldern wieder. Sido, please hear me out. I think your dancing is perfect. And enjoying the things you love every now and again won't change that. What's this all about? I understand that your dancing is as beautiful as it is because you're so disciplined. But if you eat only to fuel the dance, you're not thinking how savory feeds the soul. Savory feeds the soul? Your inner joy surely must also be part of your dance, right? When you danced in the moonlight thinking of those who had died, that was truly beautiful. I'm sure that dancing while dreaming of savory foods must be distracting. You're trying to tell me my dance is less perfect because of this? Fuel your dance with things that bring you joy. We will feel the joy too. I understand that you want to dance perfectly to protect your friends in battle. All the more reason to fuel your moves with savory food too. Divine One, you don't understand. If I fuel my dance with just anything I want, that's playing with fire. My life as a dancer has always put function before flavor. <sighs> But I am starting to see what you mean about savory feeding the soul. You're very thoughtful, and that makes me happy. Thank you. You're welcome. And given you are the Divine One, I will take your advice to heart. In fact, that fried dough bathed in oil sauce from the other day, it's been on my mind. Then let's go order some. Now the question is, how much savory is too much savory for one sitting? Perhaps we should consult the spirit of the cards. Ah. Uh, You saw my reading the other day. Divine One, I'm afraid you've only seen my undignified side lately. I've seen your charming side as well. I promise you this. From now on, you'll see a better me. I realize now the dance is both an inside and outside dance. Expect perfection. I'm happy if you're happy, Sido. Vale, why are you looking at me like that? I just... Are you really okay? I really am. I mean, it was strange. Taking corrupted form and waking up from that. But I'm fine now. And it's all thanks to you, Vale. I'm relieved. I... I also wanted to apologize for everything I've done. Everything I did in the past. So many people died. And it's because of me. I was too weak. It's my fault they're dead. I know I can't be forgiven. Not completely. But if you could, even just a little, I'm so sorry. Oh, Vale. It wasn't your fault. The fell dragon was controlling you. He's to blame. Not you. You say you're weak, but it was your strength that freed you from him. That's impressive. Thank you. I'll get stronger, too. Like I said before, I want to be a dragon like you. Ready to save the world. And I'll do everything in my power to make that happen. I just hope... you'll help me? Absolutely. That's what a big sister is for. I'll do anything I can to help you. It's the least I can do to make up for not being around. Don't worry. I'm right beside you, little sister. We can do this together. Yes, we can. What can this humble liar do for you, Divine One? I'd like to have a talk, that's all. I understand. And I'm prepared to accept whatever punishment you have in mind. Punishment? No. I wanted you to know how grateful I've been to have you by my side. Wait, uh, what? Well, that's how I feel. You fight hard every day to protect our allies. There's absolutely no reason to punish you. In hindsight, 
I think the only reason you lied is that we don't know each other very well yet, so let's change that. Why don't you start by telling me something about yourself, Hinaka? <laughs> Way to put me on the spot. If you don't want to, then I won't pry. Simple as that. <sighs> okay, before I joined up with you, I was sort of just... wandering. Looking for my place in the world. I'd left my old self behind me. I wanted to think I had, at least. You don't sound very fond of your old self. Oh, I like her well enough. Others, though, not so much. That's why she had to go. But I like who I am now. And honestly, I've been having so much fun since we met. <laughs> I'm glad to hear that. Good talk, Yunaka. I think we should do it again sometime. What do you say? You got yourself a deal. <sighs> Lady Vale. Oh, Alfred. You're drenched in sweat. Are you feeling okay? It's so... so spicy. What is? The soup I'm eating. Wait, is that all? <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> you just look so dead set on eating that soup, no matter how spicy it is. It's my favorite, but I can't help making a weird face every time I eat it. I know. How about you give it a try? It's so spicy, you'll make a weird face, too. Just you wait and see. Challenge accepted. See? Your face was way weirder than mine. I win! Diamant, is there anything that's troubling you right now? Lady Vale? Why the sudden concern? I did... something awful to you. I want to atone for what I've done. If I can... You mean my father? You don't need to atone for that. You weren't yourself then. Still, I want to make things right. I see. If I were in your position, I would be offering the same sort of gesture. I have to be honest, nothing is troubling me at the moment. Though I wonder, would you be interested in working with me to help other people? Other people? As the Crown Prince of Brodia, easing the minds of the people in my kingdom is my job. If you help me alleviate their burdens, I would consider that a great service. What do you say, Lady Vale? I say yes. I like the sound of that very much. Hmm, how strange. We walked around town all day long and couldn't find anyone who needed our help. I'm surprised too. Not a single person was distressed or in need of assistance. I suppose that's an odd thing to be upset about. We should be glad. I'm grateful that today was a good day for my people. Yes, but that won't help me make up for what I did to you. Well, not today, no. But how about this? Someday, something will trouble me. When that day comes, promise you'll help me solve it. Will that suffice, Lady Vale? Yes, it will. Thank you, Diamant. You have incredible strength, Lapis. Our foes are fierce, but together we will reclaim peace. I'm not sure how useful I'll be, but I'll try. Let's wish ourselves luck, too. Couldn't hurt, right? You studied the art of statecraft, right, Roy? I know I could learn some things from you. All I've ever learned is how to act like a lord. As long as it involves that, I'm happy to share. Today's Sweetheart's Day, isn't it? How's the new product selling? <laughs> Already sold out! Really? Yeah, really! Those suckers practically flew off the shelves! Wow! Congratulations, Lady Anna! It wouldn't have happened without you, Divine One! It's too bad I didn't get to see any of the finished necklaces, though. Actually, 
I did keep one. Check it out. Oh, you did a great job with this. No wonder they sold so quickly. You can keep it if you want. Uh, huh? You're sure? That one wasn't for sale. It came out the best, so I set it aside just for you. I hope you like it. This is the best one? You really don't mind if I have it? I wouldn't say it if I didn't mean it. I just, you know, really appreciate how much you helped me out. That's kind of you to say. We made a good team coming up with this product together. I'm really grateful. So I thought you should have the best one as a sign of our friendship. Aww, I'm happy it worked out so well. And I'm honored to accept the necklace. Thank you. You know what? I have a gift for you, too. It's the Pact Ring. What? Oh, come on! That thing is way too valuable. <laughs> That's exactly why I want you to have it. The best goods are one of a kind, right? I got a memento of our great teamwork, so why shouldn't you? True. We did come up with a smash hit, so I guess that does make us partners after all. All right, all right, I'll take it. <laughs> what a great day this is turning out to be. <laughs> I agree. Right then. Starting tomorrow, we've got a lot of work ahead of us. First, we need to source artisans who can mass produce those necklaces. If you thought they sold quick before, wait until people find out the Divine Dragon wears one. <laughs> How mercenary of you. Never change, Lady Anna. I can't let my business partner go soft, right? <laughs> no. This partnership is our ticket to fame, fortune, and finding my family. Divine One, I've been waiting for you. I'd like to perform a special dance for you tonight. A special dance? That's right. It's a dance meant for an audience of one. For you alone. Let me begin. Sito, that was incredible. I'm genuinely moved. I did what you said. I fed my soul with savory dishes. And let it move me. <laughs> I'm really glad to hear that. But why the special dance? First, let me tell you what the dance means. Yes, please. The dance is a promise. A promise I can perform for one person only. You are very special to me. <sighs> I'll say it plainly. I've cared for you ever since we met at that fortress. Others hold you dear, I know. How could they not? But their feelings can't compare to mine. So I wonder, is it possible you feel something like I do in return? Sidal, let me explain. I'm sorry, that was incredibly forward of me. No, I'm happy you said it. I'm even happier you feel that way. Because I feel the same. You do? I do. In fact, I've been thinking that this ring would look perfect on you. The Pact Ring? The very one. I feel like the moon and all the stars have lit up inside my chest. I promise you, I will work hard and make you proud to have me standing by your side. <laughs> you shine so brightly. I only hope I can add a bit more glow, Sidal. I'm so happy we get to walk this path together. <sighs> Nothing in this lovely mysterious world could keep me from you. Hey, Fram. There you are. Divine One, it's you! What can I do for you? I have something important to talk to you about. It's time, I think, to reevaluate the DDFC. Well, I... I tried to make sure my cheering wasn't so annoying. I guess it didn't work, huh? No, no, that's not it at all. Oh, are you promoting the Divine Dragon fan club to Divine Dragon official fan club? No, that's not it either. Demoting us to unofficial fan club then? 
Um, definitely not that. Well, what is it then, Divine One? Come on! Okay, okay, here goes. I don't want you to be my number one fan. What? <gasps> no. Too painful. Can't breathe. If I'm not a fan of the Divine Dragon, then... Then... Who am I, even? Whoa, Fram. Please calm down. I don't want you to be my number one fan because I want you to be my number one ally. Number one ally? <gasps> number one ally? You had my back long before I woke up. You watched over me on sunny days and on rainy days, on happy days and sad days. Y yes, of course. I'd love to be your number one ally. You and me, battle friends forever. Well then, Fram, this is for you. The Pact Ring? But Divine One, that's super valuable. Are you sure? I am. <sighs> Oh no, Fram, are you okay? I'm... I'm just so happy! You didn't just look at me, you offered me the Pact Ring! I... I accept! I really, really do! <sighs> that makes me happy, Fram. Oh, uh, but just one teensy thing. I don't want to stop being your fan. I want to be your number one ally and your number one fan. Is that okay? You mean everything to me. Plus... I think I can handle both roles, you know? <laughs> if anyone can, you can. <sighs> I am very lucky to have an ally and a fan like you. Thank you. From now on, I'll be cheering you on and standing by your side. Allies for always! Here! The Fell Dragon Shard is nearby. I'm glad you can tell where they are, Vale. I can't really sense them myself. Hold on. I see people. It looks like... Yes. Zephia and Gris. <sighs> they must be guarding the Shard. Are you going to be okay? If I'm going to stop Papa... Then I can't avoid this. Sooner or later, I have to face them. Let's go. All right. Zephia, Gris. My lady, we have been awaiting your arrival. <sighs> oh, I see. It's you again. And from the looks of it, the other Lady Vale is no longer with us. She's gone? That's right. Wormed your way back in, huh? I never thought you'd come out on top, defect. Stop calling her that. No one will speak that way about Vale ever again. You! Hey, whoa! What's this? Aren't you dead? I have become an emblem. By the power of all the emblem rings. So I can save this world. We're here to stop Papa. Both of you, please, step out of the way. And let you through? I think not. Lord Sombron is opening the portal to other worlds. We're here to protect this shard. Not even our Lady Vale could command us to step aside. Then you're prepared to die. You mean to kill us, Lady Vale? Oh, what a sad turn of events. Even after I doted upon you, cared for you as if you were my own. It used to make me happy when you said things like that. But I know they're lies. Now, you're just two of Papa's followers. Enemies to defeat. That's all. Why are you singling us out? There were four of us. Mavir was my knight. Marnie too. I've been told. She died trying to save me. Why did you kill her? I didn't even get to tell her goodbye. 
I took Marnie into my family. I looked after her. What did I get in return? Betrayal. How can you call the Four Hounds family? Treating them so... viciously. Because I loved them. When children stray, one must punish them. Or worse, as needed. That isn't real love. Oh, is that right? Then maybe I've never known real love. I know my own heart and my own thoughts. That's all that's important to me. But we'll never see eye to eye. Not in a thousand years. I serve Lord Sombra. I've done so for a very long time. Fully committed to anything he needs. I got no plans to switch sides. Not even if we lose. Got it? I see. I suppose this is goodbye then. I'm sorry to say. We've got no other choice but to fight them. Are you sure? They're not listening. If only they would leave for their own sakes, but they want to fight. We need to stop Papa. That means I have to put them behind me. It's about time I do. Also, ich hasse Zephyr immer mehr und mehr, ne? Was ich auch nicht leiden kann, ist, dass hier einfach vier verdammte Drachen rumstehen. Das Ding muss ich wahrscheinlich kaputt machen. Oh, was hast denn du da Schönes? Haben will. Hat der Gegner den Folgeangriff nicht oder habe ich den Folgeangriff nicht, wenn ich die Waffe habe? Vom Prinzip habe ich hier auf jeden Fall zwei Magier als Bosse. Die Bögen, die interessieren mich generell nicht, weil die fliegenden Einheiten nutze ich nicht besonders gern. Weil die so extrem anfällig für so viele verschiedene Sachen sind. Also klar, sie haben den Vorteil, sie können über die Map schießen wie sonst was, aber das war es auch schon. Okay, dann muss ich jetzt erstmal meine Truppen anpassen. Also, wir sehen uns gleich wieder. So, Leute, meine Truppen sind angepasst, Embleme wurden verteilt. Ich und sie da tragen als einzige kein wirkliches Emblem bei uns. Und mein oberstes Ziel ist natürlich als allererstes den Drachen vernichten. Eventuell auch noch den äh, verzerrt mit den Beugern noch hier. We have to defeat Sephia and Gris. Then, we can break the shard. What was that? Those two. It must be their doing. They can attack using the shard. And I'm sure they'll do it again. Okay. Okay, ich will nicht in diesen Bereichen stehen. Ich sehe jetzt hier gerade aber keine Warnung. Okay, mache ich erstmal ein Bündnis Plus hier mit Bell, ne? Dann haue ich nämlich den hier zuerst weg. Ich hatte irgendwie die Hoffnung hier, wenn man äh, den Ring gegeben hat, dass dann eventuell noch was zusätzlich freigeschaltet wird, aber offenbar nicht. So, Oligoludia, weil das sind ja alles Verzerrte. Habt ihr es gehört, Leute? Ich krieg's mittlerweile hin, das auszusprechen. Vernichtung! So, hier einmal überreiten. Dann mache ich mal von hier aus den Asterstrom auf den Drachen. Weil ich kann das Vieh nicht ab.
Zum Glück ist Mulagir ein Drachentöter. Ja, ist das schön, wenn der Drache einfach umfällt. So, ich habe gehört, dir schmeiße ich jetzt ein Speer ins Gesicht. So, nochmal Toron. Kann ich ja auf dich jetzt schießen, ne? Und tschüss. Diese Silbergroßlanzen sind fies. Fiesling? Ja, da könnt ihr ruhig angreifen. Das juckt mich nicht im geringsten. Weil das ist einfach nur Selbstmord von eurer Seite. <lacht> Warum sollte ich da dann was gegen haben? Ein Fehler macht ja auch nur, dass ich mich nicht bewegen kann. Ich hoffe nur, dass dort jetzt nicht was runterkommt. Ja, die bringen sich selber um. Mach sie kein Damage, brauchen wir uns nicht angucken. Retreat is an option. I will die if I must to protect the shard. You? That's crazy talk. If anyone's dying today. I've got first dibs. Besides, we'll fling these babies at him till nothing's left but bone char. Okay, noch in Ordnung. Das nicht mehr. Weil ich kann Louis nicht bewegen. So? Dann mache ich dich mit dem Schwärmer als nächstes platt, ne? Fernkämpfer immer zuerst. So, dich kriege ich so kaputt. Ist eigentlich irgendwas auf diesen Magma-Feldern? Scheinbar nicht. So, dich mache ich mit Elfenwind weg. Ja, wegen dem äh, Meteoriten äh, kann ich nichts machen. Jetzt ist die Frage, wie viel Schaden das macht. Louis macht das nicht mal Damage. Louis ist einfach so stark, selbst ein Meteorit macht ihm keinen Schaden. Ah, 
Na gut, die Steinader hat eventuell nachgeholfen. Das Einfehlen, das war aber auch gemein. Was willst du? Was willst du mit deinem Null Damage? Okay, die machen das auch nicht jede Runde. So, da oben, da wartet der Drache auf mich. Der kriegt auf jeden Fall gleich den Drachenschlag ab. Ich bin jetzt mal auf die Seite hier übrigens rüber gewandert, weil ich hier die meisten Drachen stehen. Und ich muss die loswerden. Genauso wie ich äh, den da loswerden muss. So, tschüss. Ja, kommt ran, tötet euch selbst. 4%. Und <lacht> ich hab's trotzdem bekommen. Oh, zum Glück Trefferchancen 0. Ein Glück. Die Drachen machen halt so extrem viel Schaden. Ah, danke für den Sandsturm. Ohne wäre der gar nicht draufgegangen. So, wohin feuert ihr diesmal? Da juckt mich nicht. Da gehe ich sowieso gleich weg. Also hauptsächlich juckt mich nicht. So, mit den meisten konnte ich jetzt nichts machen. Aber hier kann ich zumindest draufhauen. I'm here. Forgive me. So, dann machen wir gleich den Drachen fertig. Aber vorher mal hier den fertig. Der Sandsturm ist so heftig. So, weg mit dem Mistvieh. Da nutze ich sogar den Drachenschlag. Ja, mach da ruhig kaputt. Machst mir nur den Weg auf. Ja, dich kann ich ja jetzt instant angreifen. Das Problem ist, du wirst dabei nicht sterben. So, es ist Zeit, Brionak einzuweihen, ne? Habe ich gerade eben aus dem Vorrat geholt, weil ich es vergessen hatte, vorher auszurüsten. Das ist dieser legendäre Speer. Den habe ich bisher nicht eingesetzt. So, dem anderen Reiter schmeiße ich den auch direkt ins Gesicht. You were beautiful while you lasted. So, ich weiß nicht, ob die beiden da oben sich bewegen, aber ich lock sie mal auf jeden Fall runter. Zum Glück weiß der Drache nicht, wie man trifft. Die bewegen sich, okay. You come to get revenge. Or were you hoping the hounds would take you back? We were a family, Mavir. That makes us like brothers. No one would blame you for missing us. I am here to strike you down. I have nothing more to say. 
Jeez, a stiff till the end. Guess there's no point in holding back the killing then. Oh, das Nova, das ist auf jeden Fall heftig. Vor allen Dingen mache ich keinen Schaden wirklich. You're going to kill me, Mavia? After everything? At one time, I would not have imagined it myself. I believed our path to be just. That we were family. Family. I'm surprised to hear that from you. I am, I admit, solitary by nature. But I felt a true bond with the Hounds. I let our family distract me too long. Until you took Marnie from us. You know, Marnie. You can turn your back on all this. You can leave. I left you, Zephyr, after you made a wreckage of the Hounds. I don't have any last sentiments. You see? I learned something from you in the end. Okay. Ich dachte mir schon, dass die ein spezielles Gespräch miteinander haben. So, die Magier da hinten werden wir schnell los. Der Drache wird eher ein Problem. Aber das hier ist schon wieder so eine schnelle Schlacht. Mein Ziel ist es ja, den Stein kaputt zu machen, ne? Würden die sich selber abschießen? Hätte mich gewundert. Oh, die kriegen Verstärkung. Naja, so oder so. Oligoludia. Ne, warte mal. Noch besser. Drachenfaust. Ach, Okay. Ich würde nicht umbringen. Was hätte ich jetzt Drachenfaust gemacht, um ihn zu entwaffnen? What kind of question is that? I'm here because I want to be, okay? I see. <laughs> How sweet. Worried about little old Gris. That's an insult to me and Zephia. I won't forgive that ever. Ever! Ever! I'm gonna hurt you every which way and then kill you once and for all! Who has problems? I'll help. <clears throat> me too. <sighs> Oh yeah. Oh. This time victory was mine. So, da mache ich da mal Turon hin. So, Lady Vale, where's my reward? Reward? The real Lady Vale promised me all the agony my heart could want. I was really looking forward to it. The cold, the severity. But in the end, nothing. Not even a scratch. That Vale? She's gone now. Du hast yeah, Probleme. you killed her. So you can't be all mad. Now, you tell me. How are you gonna do it? Kill me, I mean. I'll never forgive you, Gris. But I never hated you, at least from the start. I think I understand why you were with the Hounds. Why you're you, but I'm not cruel. None of this will be... a reward. Me first! Huh? <laughs> Frech, einfach auszuweichen. Live as a Hound. Zack. Victory is mine. Der Diamant hatte ich vergessen, ihn äh, zu resetten, bevor ich hier angefangen habe. 
Und mit äh, nicht magischen Waffen mache ich hier definitiv mehr Damage. Und tschüss, Chris. Jeder hat seinen Fetisch. Ich hinterfrage ihn nicht. Ich könnte bei dem Drachen auf den Crit hoffen. Also den Crit bekam ich, aber ein bisschen spät. So, dann mache ich mal den Bündnisschlag auf dich, ne, Sephir? Ah, Lady Vale. You mean to kill me, do you? That's right. Those eyes, so like your father's. Ach, sehr ruhig. They resemble him, you know. Far more than the other Lady Vale did. You don't see me, do you, Sephir? You see me and you think of Papa. Or that other me. When we met, you seemed so kind. I really liked you. Really? I hated you. <laughs> no, that's not right. I was indifferent to you. <laughs> Lord Sombron's puppet. That's all you were. A thing to be used and cast on. Yet somehow, I knew this day would come. Ich will sie immer mehr im Grab sehen. No wonder you didn't like me. Well, you finally have my undivided attention. Sayonara. Ein Leben schon mal weg. Okay, dann ziehe ich die mal mit Brionak eins über den Schädel. Will it be me or you who dies here, I wonder? Zu viele Fähigkeiten. Impudent. Daneben. So, jetzt schlägt der äh, Stein erstmal ein. Hat dem Drachen geschadet. Sehr schön. Wen greift der Drache an? Jade, bitte trifft daneben. Danke. Meine größte Sorge hat verfehlt. Au. Aber warum auf Mavir? Das verstehe ich nicht ganz. Ich sehe, ich hatte wegen den fliegenden Einheiten ein extra Eddie ins Team geholt. Ach, guck mal, wenn man sie anspricht. So, mit dem Stern dort Blitz mache ich mal den Drachen weg. Dann kann er sich auch nicht wehren. Ich hasse die Drachen. Die sind so OP. So, dann nehme ich dir mal ein weiteres Leben weg. Und dann beenden wir das hier auch direkt. Zeit, dass du verschwindest. My dear sweet divine dragon. We've been through a lot together, haven't we? Fall um. Zephyr, you must have known who I was a thousand years ago. Yes, I believe we met. But the details are hazy. 
Lord Zombron had so many children, you see. A bug would have had more luck getting my attention. Oh, am I that forgettable? Oh, not at all. You're the divine dragon now. But in due time, you'll be me. One tends to lose count of the lives that pass by. You'll understand one day. I will never be like you. <laughs> well, it barely matters anyway. You aren't leaving this place. You're going to die right now. Nein, du wirst drauf gehen. Ohne dass du dich wehren kannst. Danke für die Waffe. Lord Sombron. No. Ah, die eine kann es aber nicht nutzen. Okay. Und Kristall kaputt. We did it. We broke the Fell Dragon Shard. Die anderen Truppen waren unwichtig. Waren eh nur Verstärkungstruppen. I suppose you've won. I'm sorry, Lord Sombron. The battle is over. We should go. Goodbye, Zephia. Goodbye, Gris. I'm glad I could say that properly this time. Oh, Gris can't hear anything now. But don't worry. I'll tell him on the other side. Thank you. <laughs> One last thing before I go. You won't be able to break the next fell dragon shard. <laughs> What do you mean? Well, it used to be in the mountains. Gradlon rose so mightily, but those mountains crumbled. That spot is now under a lake. Reaching the shard would be difficult, and then destroying it? Surely impossible. It's at the bottom of a lake? I did sense that one of them was weaker and farther away than the others, but I never imagined this. What do we do now? Simple. You raise the mountains, or drain the lake. Please, take this. An enchanted crystal that will bring that location in reach. How did you get this? I am a mage dragon. My kind are capable of making magical objects. Small charms and such, you understand. But magic of this magnitude? That drains our years. To craft an object that would alter the very terrain around you. I've paid a steep price. Sophia, you don't mean... Yes. It's making this crystal that has led to my end. The magic in exchange for my life. <laughs> you two were quite fortunate, you know. Of all the mage dragons that ever were, only I am powerful enough to create this. I learned at the youngest age that I had vast powers that were... Difficult to control. I would control them in time. But not before my mother, father, and many others died. Oh, memories. Back to the here and now. My very powerful gift. Why are you helping us now? <sighs> I'm not sure of that myself. Perhaps here at the close. I'm feeling that it's just... The right thing to do. The crystal's enchantment will last for only a few hours. So hurry along. The shard awaits. Do be careful, Lady Vale. I'll pray for your good fortune in the battles ahead. You... You could have done this at any time! Any time at all! But now you're dying! We could have made things right! If only you told us any of this before we fought, maybe we could have forgiven. Why now, indeed? Because it is the end. Huh? I can be kind just this once. 
because it's too late for me to make things right. Had I done any of this earlier, would you have really forgiven me? We, allies. <laughs> Nonsense. I had no intention of dying today. But then, all this happened. So, I made you a crystal. I doubt any of you could swim to that shard. It's a long, long way down. Sepia, I... don't understand you. Some advice, dear? Leave those you cannot understand behind. Forget them entirely. It's just unsettling to let someone like that linger in your thoughts as you grow older. Once we defeat Papa and peace arrives, I won't forget you, Zephia. No matter how many hundreds or thousands of years may pass. Oh, child. No more of that, please. Hurry off to that shard. Unless you prefer to stay and watch me die. Would that make you feel safer? <laughs> Let's go, Vale. Yes. Go. We can at least end things with a clean slate. Goodbye, Lady Vale. And to you, our new emblem. Goodbye. Goodbye, Sephia. Thank you... for everything. <laughs> you are too kind, child. Auch wenn die jetzt am Ende noch mal was gut gemacht hat, diese vier verzeihen, was die getan hat, nie im Leben. Yes. Um Mani ist es traurig, um die anderen beiden nicht. Yes. Ja, die beiden trauern ein bisschen. Weil sie hatten ja schon mehr oder weniger gute Zeiten mit denen. Deswegen verständlich, dass die beiden trauern. Okay, dann gehe ich jetzt gleich noch zur Karte zurück, falls noch eine weitere Sequenz kommt. Hell of a time to switch sides. My word. I thought they had killed you. What? You think I'm gonna kick off in the middle of this once-in-a-lifetime pain? This is the good stuff. I gotta savor every last drop. Would have been real ticked off if they put me out of my misery, not gonna lie. That's really the reason you were playing dead? <laughs> Even at the end, you're an odd man. How come? You told them about the shard. Like I said, I'm just trying to wipe the slate clean. Cut that out. I want to know the truth, okay? To get back at Lord Sombron, I guess. Why should I die in the dust while he... While he gets everything he wanted just like that? Does that seem fair? Now that they know about the shard, they're sure to break it. And he'll know I've met my end, that he's lost me forever. You gotta really love somebody, if you want to hurt him that badly. I wasn't in love with Lord Sombron. I just wanted him to give me a child of my own. That was the dream I clung to through all of the long years. A family, the love of a daughter or a son. When I called the Hounds my family, I meant every word of it. What we had was something very rare indeed. You, me, Marnie, Mavir, working together to protect Lord Sombron and Lady Vale. But it's too late for all that now. If you were gonna turn on Sombron, why'd you wait? If you'd done it sooner, maybe we'd still be together. And maybe I wouldn't find myself bleeding out at the moment. I have to wonder if you'd have been happier on the other side. You really think I would just abandon you? Not a chance in hell. Huh? The four hounds. A family. 
I always did like the sound of that. I can't even remember what my parents' faces looked like. You're the closest thing I had to a mother. Ever since the first day you met me, poor little twisted disciple that I was, hoping that my suffering would be good enough in the eyes of Lord Sombron. You were like a mom to me, and a big sister. Honestly, even a god. The most important person in the world to me. Gris, I don't like this joke. <sighs> it's no joke. I'd follow you anywhere, dummy. You're right. How could I have been so blind? The one thing I always wanted, staring me in the face all the while. If only I had realized. But no, it's too late to think of that. I hope you forgive me. We are a family. I thank you. Zephia, you drifted off already. Guess I will, too. No reason to stick around without her. Nothing hurts me anymore. Okay, ich nehme eine Aussage von Gott eben zurück. Das war gerade mega traurig. Das war einfach nur rührend traurig. Ich dachte wirklich, Chris wäre schon tot. An der einen Stelle. Und ich hätte auch nicht damit gerechnet, dass Zephyr uns halt nochmal irgendwie hilft. Das hatte ich vergessen, gerade eben zu erwähnen. Also ja, deren beiden Ende war... Schon überraschend irgendwie, wie sie sich von der Welt verabschiedet haben. Aber ganz ehrlich, was sie getan haben, trotzdem unverzeihlich. Weil sie haben so vielen Menschen Leid zugefügt. Das, das kann man nicht vergeben. Naja, nächstes Mal geht es mit Kapitel 24 weiter. Ich hoffe, ihr hattet alle Spaß beim Zusehen. Wenn ja, ein Abo und ein Like da lassen. Und an der Stelle kann ich sagen, zum Glück bin ich zur äh, Karte vorher noch gegangen und nicht erst nächste Folge. Also hatten wir hier noch diese Sequenz. Also ja, ciao und bis zum nächsten Mal.